Hello, church. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully, you're staying warm today. Up here in Linden, Sumaz, Kendall, <laughs> it's pretty cold. Today, we're celebrating Christmas. We celebrate that God became a fellow traveler with us in a new way. Just as Mary placed the infant Jesus in a manger, God placed himself into our difficult, messy, and often tiring journey in this world. John says it this way in John chapter 1, verse 14. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. At Christmas, the God of love gave his only Son to redeem us and to be with us at all times and in all places. John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. God wants to join us in our way. Listen to our joys and sorrows. Prevent us from walking in meaningless circles. Amen? And then he also directs us to his home of peace and joy. Church, this is the great mystery of Christmas. Almighty God becoming a helpless infant. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14 in the Amplified Bible. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Listen carefully. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and she will call his name Emmanuel, God with us. Because of the word, Jesus in the flesh, we are not alone on our journey. We can always trust that he is walking with us. No wonder we sing today, especially, joy to the world, the Lord has come. I pray that this coming year will bless your socks off. God bless you, church.